Hello, everybody. It's Felicia, and I'd like for you to spring into summer and save up to two-thirds off. That's right, 66% when you use the promo code FEFE at MyPillow.com. The world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator has restarted after a break of more than three years for maintenance, consolidation, and upgrade work. On April 22, 2022, at 1216 CEST, two beams of protons circulated in opposite directions around the Large Hedron Collider's 27-kilometer ring at their injection energy of 450 billion electron volts. These beams circulated at injection energy and contained a relatively small number of protons. High intensity and high energy collisions are a couple of months away, says the head of CERN's beam department, Rotary Jones. Jones continues, but first, beams represent the successful restart of the accelerator after all of the hard work of the long shutdown, closed quote. The machines and facilities underwent major upgrades during the second long shutdown of CERN's accelerator complex, says CERN's Director of Accelerators and Technology, Mike Lamont. Lamont continues with, the LHC itself has undergone an extensive consolidation program and will now operate at an even higher energy, and thanks to major improvements in the injector complex, it will deliver significantly more data to the upgraded LHC experiments, closed quote. Pilot beams circulated in the LHC for a brief period in October 2021. However, the beams that circulated on the restart date mark not only the end of the second long shutdown for the LHC, but also the beginning of preparations for four years of physics data taking, which is expected to start this summer. Until then, LHC experts will work around the clock to progressively recommission the machine and safely ramp up the energy and intensity of the beam before delivering collisions to the experiments at a record energy of 13.6 trillion electron volts. This third run of the LHC, called Run 3, will see the machine's experiments collecting data from collisions not only at a record energy, but also in unparalleled numbers. The ATLAS and the CMS experiments can each expect to receive more collisions during this physics run than in the two previous physics run combined. While LHCB, which underwent a complete revamp during the shutdown, can hope to see its collision count increase by a factor of three. Meanwhile, ALICE, a specialized detector for studying heavy ion collisions, can expect a 50 times increase in the total of recorded ion collisions, thanks to the recent completion of a major upgrade. The unprecedented number of collisions will allow international teams of physicists at CERN and across the world to study the Higgs boson in great detail and put the standard model of particle physics at its various extension to the most stringent tests yet. Other things to look forward to in the run three include the operation of two new experiments, phaser and SND at LHC, designed to look for physics beyond the standard model. Special proton helium collisions to measure how often the antimatter counterparts of protons are produced in these collisions and collisions involving oxygen ions that will improve physicists' knowledge of cosmic ray physics and quark gluon plasma, a state of matter that existed shortly after the Big Bang. Today marks April 25th, 2022, and it also marks the date that the LHC pilot beams of protons were accelerated for the very first time to the record energy of 6.8 TeV per beam after restarting LHC. This operation is part of the activities to recommission the machine in preparation for the LHC's Run 3 planned for the summer aiming at 13.6 TEV this year. For Headlines with a Voice, this is Felicia Lockhart. Lockhart Perspective